keeping with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They snap it to Fields. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, LA. Travis Kelsey, 38 yards. And the Chargers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you get the defensive touchdown early to give you the first score. And then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, we've had that conversation with them prior to the game. They always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. But the kind of go first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. So following the incompletion, here second and 10 from the 25. McCaffrey running up the middle. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And he is going to have a Panthers first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four and he got four on third down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, McCaffrey, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. 13-0 is the score after one on EA Sports. on third down tonight. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, here's Fields. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 30. A really good pick up at 28 yards. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. On first down, Fields. Got a man, it's Randy Moss complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Fields. Inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards to pick up, first down. 
But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. But I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Here's Fields. Escaping the pressure right. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Charger drive about to get going. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're... And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch. This too shall pass, this too shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. That was no third and two, that was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Fields. That's caught one more time by Blue. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Throwing again is Fields. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Well, he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Here's Fields now on second down. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. 
They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, headed into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. A final shot before the break. Fields. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Charger drive about to get going. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball. And I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards a line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. A shotgun snap. Fields. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. Pressure comes in, he's brought down. It's a Panther sack. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Back to throw, Fields. And he is caught, and they work this well on field across the 45. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, it's Fields. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Up the middle they go with a big back, Jackson. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. 87 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Aaron Donald just so strong they can't block him and he records the sack. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket but he couldn't get rid of the football and the end result Charles him on the ground. Yeah he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line when you're talking about three four five seconds that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield so great to try and complete a pass it's equally important to know when to throw the football. And he's going to go down again. 
Aaron Donald drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end. That's exactly what he did. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers, and this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Fields on first down. Underneath, he's got Olsen. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That's a gain of 13 as they try to win him away at this 13-point deficit. That's a nice throw there. He's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second and ten, Fields. In trouble, and he's taken down. Mean Joe Green breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Fields now to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Jalen Ramsey with a sack on the corner blitz. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number... It's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. It didn't work out. They must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have thought they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. Jackson. Touchdown, Chargers. Don't remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving, they're fired up. And it carries over to the other side of the ball. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here we go. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things for this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. 
But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. They have pressure coming, and they got him once again. Aaron Donald in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And to find the open man. That's complete. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Carolina. Randy Moss, his second touchdown of the night. And the Panthers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Cano now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13 yard line and no further. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And the defense loses him. It's complete. A big play there for L.A. 55 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal to throw his fields. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Panthers are right back in this football game. This is first and 10. Now Fields. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. From the gun, here's Fields. Complete to Boyd. And he'll be knocked to the turf right there as he gets it up to the 43. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a good point there is they were able to connect. 
Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. They want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now a first down throw. Fields looking for the out route, and he's got it. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They'll come up now, second and nine. Out of the gun, Fields. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Gano for the extra point. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. Touchdown here to kick it away. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The Charger drive about to get going. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. That is intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. I'm surprised with the lead in a one-score game this late. They're even putting the ball in the air in that situation. Almost makes me feel like the head coach might be second-guessing himself by not clicking on and saying, all we're doing is running it here. But give credit to the guys on defense. They made a play that they absolutely had to have to give themselves a chance to be in this game. Here's first and 10. Here's Fields. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. They're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. It's complete. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's first down. Now Fields. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he would get to the sideline here, but that a minimal gain at best. Three yards, possibly four. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. The interception last drive there. He hits the reliable target. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Maybe looking for a flag, but they're not going to get one there. They took a shot, hoping to find a way to sneak into field goal range, but it's incomplete. And now with time almost gone, the task gets much more. This ball intercepted. 
It's the Pro Bowler Luke Kuechly that picks it. And the Panthers are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game.